really cool. Yeah. I'm just going to do this on video too if that's alright. I don't know what's going to work. Um, so you mentioned passing opportunities. Where, where do you see those passing opportunities on this track? Uh, there's quite a few. So they're, um, the, anything that's 90 degree where you've got to stop and brake for a long time is a, is a genuine passing spot. So um, there's actually quite a few. So we'll um, have to see how the whole track ends up at the end when it's finalised. But, uh, but you've probably got three genuine spots on the track, which, um, you know, 2.6 kilometres long or whatever, uh, a 500 um, k race, a 250 k per day, that's a lot of laps and a lot of passing. So um, there should be three genuine spots and then um, spots that guys try and turn into passing spots that may not be in them anyway. So, but three in a lap is probably higher than most yeah. tracks that we that we genuinely go to. Racing through buildings like that kind of increase the sense of speed. Yeah, create. Yeah, it's, it's um, narrower. It is the faster you feel, but it's going to be still width. But having tall buildings makes it feel narrower. So it'd be nice to have the the, um, the, the width of the track at the feeling of narrowness from buildings. So and it um, will still be good racing, but you know, it'll feel like you're going up through tunnels type of thing. Which um, anytime you're in a car, they feel quick. <laughs> they never feel slow. But um, yeah. It's going to feel really nice and then, and then yeah, uh, elevation, yeah. undulation stuff, that'll make it feel quick as well. So, uh, and that back section down uh, along the, the uh, what do you call it, the, the beach top part there, yeah. it's going to be fast downhill, so much character, so yeah. it's really cool to go around and see it roar and then to yeah. see where it's going to yeah. sort of end up. I know it's not Monaco, but I suppose that's what springs to people's 